If you have any information pertaining to this case, you may contact the Georgia Bureau of Investigation by telephone at 404-244-2600. You could also submit your tips through their website using the link on screen or in the description. You could also contact the Dade County Sheriff's Office at 706-657-3233. At around 2 p.m. on the 16th of December 1988, individuals working for the Department of Transportation who were clearing brush discovered the body of a young woman off an embankment along the east side of the northbound I-59, approximately five miles from the Georgia and Alabama state line, in Rising Fawn, Dade County, Georgia. By the time her body was found, she was rather badly decomposed and an autopsy deduced that a post-mortem interval of several days, but not longer than a week, was likely. Her body had been exposed to the harsh elements and winter weather. An article published in early 2003 stated that her fingertips had frozen off. The autopsy also concluded that the woman had been sexually assaulted and her cause of death was homicide by strangulation. It is believed that she died elsewhere to her site of discovery. She was of Caucasian descent and anywhere from 16 to 35 years old. She stood between 5 feet 6 inches and 5 feet 8 inches tall and likely weighed between 120 and 125 pounds. With shoulder length strawberry blonde, red, brownish red or auburn hair that was frosted at the ends, crooked teeth with three minor restorations and tooth number 17 was impacted. She was found wearing a size XL navy blue thermonit long sleeve pullover, a navy blue bra, Calvin Klein blue jeans, a pair of size 9 black lace up ankle high shoes, a gold coloured chain necklace, and a white gold pinky ring with a heart design at the top on her left pinky finger. She was not wearing any panties or socks. When no one came forth to identify her after a significant amount of time, she was laid to rest in an unmarked grave in the Lake Hills Memorial Gardens, locals in the area raising the funds for her burial. In February 2003, her remains were exhumed for further forensic testing. When she was reburied, she was given a headstone that read Jane Doe, 1988, the funds for which were again raised by locals. At the time of the exhumation, it was released that investigators had obtained a blood sample from a person of interest in a Jackson County, Alabama jail. As far as I can tell, there were no updates concerning this person of interest. Serial killer Samuel Little was recently ruled out as being her killer by DNA evidence. Investigators suspect that the unidentified woman may have been a runaway or a hitchhiker. It is speculated that she may have been a redhead murders victim. The Redhead Murders are a series of serial killings that took place from 1983 to 1990. According to Wikipedia, there are six presumed victims, all women or young girls with red or reddish coloured hair, between the ages of 9 and 45, whose lifeless bodies were dumped along major US highways. Four of these women had been strangled to death, much like the rising fawn Jane Doe and the other two victims' causes of death have not been determined. Strangely enough, all of these victims weren't identified at some point. Thankfully, three of them have been identified. Victim Lisa Nichols was identified after nine months, and victims Tina Farmer and Espy Pilgrim were both identified after 33 years. The victims found in Wetzel County, West Virginia, Campbell County, Tennessee, and Chittam County, Tennessee, remain unidentified at the time of me writing the script. There are eight additional suspected victims, including the rising form Jane Doe. Though, of course, it's also possible that their cases are not at all connected. And that is just about all the information I could gather from my days of scouring the web. Before I draw this video to a close, I would like to thank my subscriber, Heather Nikki for suggesting that I take a look at this case. If you would like me to draw attention to a particular case, please feel free to suggest. I would also like to apologise for my voice in this video. My throat is very sore at the moment. At present, Namus lists only one rollout for the writing for Unchained Doe. If any more rollouts are added in the future, 
I shall add them to the list in the description of this video. Again, if you believe you have any information that made in the identification of the C students, and or any knowledge surrounding the circumstances of her death, you may contact the Georgia Bureau of Investigation at 404-244-2600, or you can submit your tip online by using the link on screen or in the description. You could also contact the Dade County Sheriff's Office at 706-657-3233. Thank you very much for giving the case of the Rising Fawn Jane Doe a moment of your day.